Welcome along to the DJ Mixtape. We're doing DJ Talk and today we are joined with the extremely talented Joshua Fleming, who's a US DJ based over in Texas. So hello and welcome and thank you for taking the time out to join us, Joshua, today. Thank you very much. Excellent. So let's get into it. Let's start by um, talking about the winning mix you sent into our monthly DJ competition. Tell people what they might expect to hear in the mix, which is over on our blog. Okay, um, it's a bunch of heavy bass I threw together. You can expect a lot of that. Um, reggae vibes, dub vibes, you know, some steppers, kind of, uh, you know, hit you in the face with bass kind of thing. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, it was brilliant. I loved it. It was one of the favorite, one of my favorite mixes that I'd had in. It was really kind of up my street and I, I loved all the tunes on it. Yeah, it really, uh, it really was one that stuck out as like, yeah, this has got to go on the winning, winning list. It was, it was fantastic. So when you record a DJ mix, how do you go about it? What's your kind of process with that? Um, selection first. I'll just pull the records and, and uh, listen listen what you know and then go with key of course and then uh you know try try things trial and error if, you know this may seem like it might work but you know you put it together and it really doesn't so take the you know just trial and error and and a bit of planning and then um you know of course the practice to put it all Put it all together really. yeah 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 do you record do you record it in you know one take or do you program any of it on a computer or? i'd like to say that but <laughs> i try to do the mixing uh with one take that's that's a goal but sometimes it doesn't work you know i'll have to um add a, a vocal or or i don't know it depends on on the problem that comes up but yeah i like to do it in one take Cool, That's cool, cool. So do you, when you said you like to um, suss out the key, do you do that by ear or do you use software for doing that? Uh, I use software. I'm, I'm trying to train myself with ear. I've got a, uh, a little key diagram, you know, that mm -hmm. I cheat. Yeah, the Camelot wheel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, suss it out that way. Cool, man. Cool, cool. And I noticed you've got a pretty uh, cool record collection and studio uh, on behind you. Would you mind just giving us a little tour of that? Sure. Um, I've got a record obsession, really. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, this is, let's see, a bunch of uh, 10 inches and 6 inches. And then we go with LP, rock and roll, punk rock. This is just weird stuff. Nice man. Uh, What's the weirdest record you've got in your collection? Go and hit uh, us with it. Hard, a bunch of old Baptist, uh, you know, gospel. Oh, nice. Word, yeah. Just, I mean, I think Excellent. I get a weird one, and then I'll go shopping again. <laughs> yeah, on the bottom two are all reggae LPs. That's where I reside mostly. Yeah. Um, the same over here on this stack, the reggae LPs, and then. A lot of dub 12 inches and and the like yeah i oh, mean you've got a deep collection that really came through on the mix you sent um yeah it was just you, you could tell that you were just digging into really like a really sort of um substantial record collection to put that mix together so what uh, what other stuff have you got in the way of like um dj gear um okay i've got we'll start with the Technic mk5s yeah a couple of them and the djm2 2000 nexus yeah and then some other bits and mobs are rolling and some benny dubs oh nice Old is that like a is that a, 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 is that a tiny space echo there or is it no yeah. i'm getting it yeah, is. Benny Dub digital echo yes, oh sir. nice nice <laughs> I've always, it's been my dream to get um, an original like analog space echo just uh, to have, uh, but they're just so expensive and so hard to maintain. I just never thought I, I would just always put it off, but I'd love to get one of those. Yeah. That's a goal as well, but like you say, they're, they're pricey, pricey. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I've got the DDJ 1000. This one's a new edition. I've kind of prided myself on being a vinyl DJ, but... Mm -hmm. I kind of move on, you know, with the times. There's so many options 
I think you can stu- still call yourself a vinyl DJ. Don't worry, you're all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's where that's where I reside mainly. So how do you how do you find Record Box um, to to DJ with a lot of? Uh, it's becoming a really popular option now. Record Box. How do you find getting on with with DJing with that software? Uh, I've got a we got a crew here in town and and one of uh, the techno the techno guys in the in the bunch um, was really having a good time with it and. You know, I would go and hang out, and he'd show me a little bit of this and that, and it really kind of sat with me. I liked, um, I liked what he could do with it, you know. And so I dug around a little more, and then got one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you said you've got a bit of a crew going on. What's the sort of scene uh, where you are in Texas? I mean, what's what's going on nightlife wise, or, or you know, what's going on with your crew and what you you guys get up to? Um. It's just uh, the kind of a DJ crew. We're not really a genre heavy. Mm-hmm. We got some hip hop guys, some techno guys, uh, me, the reggae guy, <laughs> and uh, you know uh, other youngsters coming up with trance and and stuff. It's just uh, kind of a collective. We just get together and share things and to go to shows, set up shows, play shows. Yeah, and, uh, you know. It's the best way, isn't it? Having a, having a, a group of friends around you that are obsessed with, if it's not the same music, it's the same DJ culture. It's, it's kind of, or putting on parties. I think it's, it's really important. That's often where the kind of, you know, the sparks of energy come from, isn't it? Having a group of people who've, who've got the same kind of shared pattern. So yeah, on the, on the whole, is Texas a pretty, pretty wild place to go out and party for people, for people yeah. who've never been? Yeah. I mean, it's, there's places for it. It's a big state. Yeah, 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 yeah. Houston, um, Austin, you know, Dallas and them. Yeah. San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man, cool. A lot going on, a lot going on. I bet. I, I, I would love to visit Texas one day. It's on my uh, it's on my bucket list of places to visit. But there's, a, there's so many places, though, isn't there, you need to go and visit. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to quickly go back and, and just quickly talk about uh, records or, or music generally. Where do you get your music from? Is, is it mostly kind of, um, have you got like some favorite record stores or do you, do you buy stuff online now? Or? Well, yeah, usually there's not, there's not a whole lot to offer in, uh, in Amarillo. So when I travel, I'm always in New Mexico. So uh, there's a couple of stores in uh, Albuquerque. I like to go to and then of course when i go down south and play in austin and houston i definitely hit some select shops there but cool. but yeah there's a lot of online going on too a lot of uh um unearthed sounds band camp band yeah. Camps are yeah there's so many good ones now isn't there you just got to find your favorite one and stick with it and then try not to spend too much money right <laughs> Uh, Juno, that's yeah. Yeah, I love Juno. I love Juno as well, man. So, can you tell us a bit about some of the gigs you play? Like, you know, what kind of parties or or, or bars or clubs or anything like that? Sure. Uh, up here in Amarillo or Palm City, we you know it's mainly the bar bar scene, couple of dance clubs. But when we travel, um, you know, we'll play South by Southwest in Austin and uh, uh, Reggae Fest in in Austin and a few. Mm-hmm few jaunts over to Houston and San Antonio and, and those are those are where it's at. That's big, big crowds, you know, the festival yeah. kind of uh, yeah. Vibe. yeah. So what kind of music are you playing at those sort of things? Are you get you, you taking it really heavy? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Well it's like uh you know the big stat, you know, at the at the reggae fest mm-hmm. with the scoopers and all that stuff. So yeah, very bass heavy, very much like that mix. Yeah, definitely, man. So, so I'm going to ask this to to uh, all the all the people I have a chat with. If you could pick one or two records where you're, you know, you're you're playing a set and it's not going very well, are there are there is there a record that you go to just to get that energy back on the dance floor? Is there one you can think of? Yeah, uh, I've been to do that to accomplish that. I usually play um, RSD. It's this tune called uh, "Too Much War." Okay. <laughs> It's a hitter. It's yeah. It's hard. Yeah. To get get the girls moving. Yes. <laughs> kind of up, up tempo, you know, but still has that flavor of, of me as you know the dub reggae type vibe. Yeah, definitely, goes. definitely. I love I love the way your your music kind of isn't just pigeonholed into dub. I, I like the way you bring on 
other elements in there. Some, some even a bit of electronic stuff. Some, you know, not traditional EDM, but do you know what I mean. There's some pulses in there, and I like it, and it moves around. I really, right. I was really caught by your your selection because I wasn't sure what was going to come next, or um, and I didn't recognise a lot of the tunes as well. So I, I guess that's brilliant as well. If, if it moves you, and you kind of you, you're not familiar with it, that was what was so excited about your mix. Um, let's go on to helping younger beginner DJs and, and maybe give them some tips coming up because um, I don't know how long you've been DJing. I mean, how long have you been DJing? How long have you been in the game? Oh, 20, somewhere around 20 years. Yeah. How did it start for you? Uh, when I was young, Amarillo was like the crossroads for the lower, lower United States. And so we have two interstates. Uh, that Crossroad and Amarillo. So a lot of bands come through. So when I was young, I was kind of in the punk rock scene. And I would always go to the shows, of course, with the friends and buy the records. And that that's where it started. That's just the record collecting part. And once I got a you know a substantial batch, I seemed like the next step with the playing. So we we would get together and play them at barbecues first and then, you know side up a, a piece of gears and then we'd start doing shows to go to go and buy our first you know good pioneer mixer or or whatever um that's kind of how it's that's kind of how it started and the punk rock took me to ska music and ska took me to jamaica and i just kind of resided that's, there. that's where you stayed <laughs> 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 brilliant man brilliant so so talking about you know be, you know how you got into it there's going to be loads of hopefully loads of uh, beginner younger djs who are watching this and it'd be awesome for to, you know to give them some tips on 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 um on starting djing and building a name for themselves so if you were you know talking to you know younger djs or beginner djs who are just getting into it what advice would you give to them about their you know dj career uh, for me, pick, pick a goal, find yourself a goal, something you want to accomplish and focus um, one or two at a time, you know, don't overload yourself with, uh, you know, wants and desires to get better or, or whatever, pick, pick a goal and focus on it, accomplish that one. And then, uh, you know, hit the next notch. Yeah, definitely. man. Don't, don't, rush. don't take on too much. You might, you know, flounder or, get overwhelmed yeah that's good advice yeah i think i think pick, having a goal and, and, and picking it and, and not really overwhelming yourself so so say okay i'm going to get that first gig i'm going to make sure i go and talk to the club promoter get that first gig and then we'll we'll see how it goes after that we'll reevaluate did it go well did it what could i have done better and, and yeah and, and building and building just having goals i think is really a, you know really good advice for djs as well yeah definitely man. so um before we go, I would like to maybe see if you have any funny, good, bad, interesting gig experiences that you can share. Because when you start DJing, trust me, there will be some horror moments where you think, what have I got myself into? Or that was awful or that was brilliant. Um, so can you share any stories with us, uh, Joshua? Yeah, one... <laughs> one uh stands out in particular we were in austin at the reggae fest we had uh you know the big speaker stack uh stack going up and and uh really thumping it serving it to the public pretty good and then i don't know how much you know about the weather in texas but a big chuck norris rainstorm comes sweeping through and, and uh hail and rain the whole nine yards to scramble to save the the equipment we had uh, a talent with us um Chesedek from from jamaica and he was like <laughs> what's going on <laughs> it was a real intense intense moment but uh we got it done we saved everything and you didn't, didn't you didn't damage any of your stuff no no but you just you just had you just had some tables I said oh. the tents and the tables they were there's no sense of them but, uh, so is it pretty mad in Texas? Does the weather can the weather change just like that? It can it can turn like that. Right. Okay. If you don't like the weather, wait wait a half hour. 
yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, the worst, but yeah. <laughs> so maybe uh, maybe a tip for some younger DJs would be to uh, get some insurance for your gear if you're DJing in Texas. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, look, um, Joshua, it's been such a pleasure talking to you today. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's great to have some DJs on with uh, some experience and who know what they're talking about. And it's great to have some DJs on with massive vinyl collections because uh, I could just go through that all day and talk to you about music all day. It's fantastic. Uh, so thanks very much for coming. Would you like to come back and talk to us again in the future about some other DJ stuff? Anytime, anytime. Hey, man, it'll be a pleasure to have you back on. And um, from the DJ Mixtape, Joshua, thanks very much, and we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you. Appreciate it.